Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Ariel, Back to Buenos Aires. And this is a new drama from writer-director Allison Murray that focuses on the story of two siblings who wind up going back to Buenos Aires, to Argentina, where they were originally from, and they grew up in Canada, and have lived in Canada their whole lives, and... They go on this adventure together. They get caught up in learning dance and tango. And Davy and Diana each have their own kinds of things they're dealing with. There's some mystery about Davy's actual parentage. Diana is soon to be in a marriage with somebody she doesn't really feel like she's having a connection with. And she misses, longs for the days where men would show attention to her and she winds up kind of going on a more free-spirited adventure with some of the men that she's dancing with. But this is all just on top of the bedrock to this story that there's this whole entire thing about this horrible regime working closely with corporations like Ford who basically were stealing children and giving them off to loyalist people in the regime. And this film tries to balance those two stories. I think that's probably the biggest weakness of the film is that it does struggle. Like, the tangoing like, makes up such a big part of the first half of this film and then kind of just dissipates altogether. But I do appreciate those parts of the film. They're well done. There, you could feel the tension and the sexual attraction, the magnetism going on in these dances and how Murray films it and really portrays it. And you have this whole entire experience of this film and this story. And then it gets deep. It gets heavy. It gets emotional. There's some incredibly tense and just emotionally devastating moments and also some really cathartic ones as this story, this complex story, really starts to unwind. And really at the core of this film, Christina Rosado, who's Diana, she gives a fantastic performance. She is showing, like, when she's tangoing, there, something unlocks there. And there's a magnetism that she feels, and she feels like a woman who she really wants to be and who she really is. And at other moments, she's just this disconnected and hollow version of herself. And then uh, Raphael Groats Harvey, who plays Davy, has a really challenging role of balancing all this, this depression and moments of alcoholism and also swinging back and forth from despair to elation and joy, and he's able to balance all these things. There's twists and turns. It might not be the cleanest and the easiest to navigate narrative, but it's still so impactful, it has a lot to say, and really is anchored on two characters that we could really get behind. And I won't get much else into the story or relationships or anything because there's so much to unpack here and to experience. And Murray does a fantastic job of building that tension and mystery along the way. And it's certainly worth a watch. But those are my thoughts on Ariel Back to Buenos Aires. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.